Good evening, everyone. We finally did it. Took a little bit of time, but we got it done. I knew we would get this done. 2015 Tops Chrome Football. This is a 12 box pick your team right there, folks. And picking their teams. Are these folks right there? Thank you, all these guys and gals, for choosing your own adventure. Now, if you see a little rooftop or a little carrot next to your name, that means you got that spot in a spot randomizer. I believe spot random number 32 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There is the case. Tops Chrome was the case that they gave me. Ooh, pretty heavy. Heavy with awesome hits. That's probably what it has. Remember, this is 2015. So think about all your 2015 rookies, players, and whatnot. Like that guy. All right. Good luck, everybody. That's not a good start. Okay, so who do we have here? Who's who's here live watching this break? I know, I know. I saw Bulldog fan earlier. He's got Falcons and Texans in this one. I know the X line has got to be here somewhere. I know he was here. He's got a few teams, right? I saw Brett earlier. Is Greg in this one? Greg's in. The, well, he got one in this via spot randomizer. Who else is here? Matt, maybe Matthew Rourke. You got some stuff in a spot randomizer. Reggie's here. He's got the Colts. Alex Lindsay Buccaneers, I know what you're looking for. The guy on the cover of this box. There he is, there's Bulldog fan. Reigns is in here, right? What do you what do you where where is Reigns in this list? Somewhere. I don't know. Everyone's here. Well, it's good. Bishop asking, Tops Chrome or Bowman Chrome? Preference. For football, Tops Chrome. Is there a Bowman Chrome for football? I forget. There's so many, so many products. Um, I like Bowman Chrome for baseball, though. Oh, 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 Range, you're saying you're just here watching. I gotcha. I gotcha. You're waiting on limited, okay. Yeah, which should happen pretty soon, too. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. We're gonna start off. Uh, no vet-based ships, so sorry. This Matt Ryan is not gonna ship. Uh, this Danny Shelton will ship. And all the rookies will ship. Inserts like this will ship. Inserts like that will ship. These refractors will ship. They're not numbered, though. This Pulsar will ship. Leonard Williams. This is not numbered? No, I don't think it's numbered. But this will ship. It's been a while since we've done this. And nice start. Tyler Lockett. Rookie auto of Tyler Lockett. The speedster going to Donald Brazier. Nice. And Cruz just walks in and says, anyone pulls a red auto out of five tile locket and want to sell, he'll pay cash. Well, not quite there, but kind of close. Just about 95 away. <laughs> There's Tim Brown. Nice. There's usually like a numbered card in here too. I hope I didn't miss it. 
our shipping team usually goes through all of these again to say, so if I ever miss something, is that it? No, that's just the green. That'll ship too. Andrews Pete, Camo Refractor, 387 out of 499. There you go. Got these waves here too. These aren't numbered, but those will ship. Is that a black refractor? Yeah, it is. 152 out of 299. Jonathan Stewart for the Panthers. All right, there was box one. So the Panthers get that black refractor. That'll be Chris Siracool who got this in a spot random. And the Andrews Pete for the Saints. That'll go to David Kist. Nice. Uh, York saying he hit a, a Winston 25 out of 25 out of this stuff while you, while you were in Tampa. That's appropriate. You feel one of one coming? Uh, would not would not complain about that. Nice and C Shep reporting that we've got definitive collection football down to nine. Nice. That's also 2015. And limited basketball is at two. That should definitely, we should have no problem filling that. Good, excellent. Thanks, everybody. So we we're only just getting started with this break, folks. It should take us about about an hour or so to to. Uh, to complete this break. But once we're done with that, I'm sure it looks like we're gonna have a couple breaks filled up by then. Hey, no worries, Donald. Now, it, you're a Seahawks guy, right, Donald? Because you, I think you buy the Seahawks all the time. Um, or you're one of the Seahawks fans that buy the Seahawks a lot of the times. Uh, Tyler Lockett, that guy just needs to stay healthy, right? I, I feel like that's like his only, his only like thing, you know? All right. There's Amir Abdullah. Mark Ingram, Duke Johnson. These pulsars not a uh, not numbered. Sometimes those inserts are autographed. The famous and there's Eric Kendricks. It's an on card auto, former UCLA guy. Nice, not numbered, going to the Vikings. Ryan Landauer with that. And some red? Len Dawson? No. <laughs> what a troll draw. I, th I thought this red trim had indicated something, but no. Fooled again. Sorry for the false alarm, Casey. Whoever has them, next line. <laughs> those greens are not numbered, by the way, which is why I'm kind of breezing by those. Shane Ray, Camo Refractor, out of uh, 499, 101 out of 499. For the Broncos, that'll go to Colin.
And Russell Wilson, sepia. 76 out of 99 for Donald and the Panthers. Uh, yes, the greens will ship. Only vet, just base, will not ship. So the greens are considered inserts, not base. So they will ship. Oh, Hawks fan living in San Diego. The Navy moved you from Seattle. Oh, you know what? I was, uh, where, where exactly in, uh, San Diego, Donald? I'm sure you know. I'm sure I've mentioned before on air that I went to school at UC San Diego. Great area. Um, love, uh, the, the fireworks shows in San Diego are probably the best. One of the best, probably, in the country. Probably top top five fireworks show, I think. It's got to be San Diego, right in that bay. Oh, right, Pacific Beach. That's right. I remember now. Hanging out at the Broken Yoke. Is the Broken Yoke still there? Love the Broken Yoke. Oh, you can see the SeaWorld fireworks from your couch? Nice. That's pretty awesome. Broken Yoke 10-minute walk? Nice. That's good. Good breakfast spot. Is the uh, is the Night Owl still there? Was it, was it was it called the Night Owl, I think? I think right on the corner. I think across the street from like In-N-Out or something like that. There was like this old bar that was there like it always cracked me up because they said they they prominently said on their signage that they're open at 6 6 a.m <laughs> uh rob talking wants to talk a little basketball in this football break you think the warriors are going to take it i don't know i think everyone tends to overreact with every win you know i think people will look at game one and be like oh well that's it Cavs are getting swept you know, you can't stop Kevin Durant. You know, but uh, but I don't know. I mean, I th yeah, as John B is saying, I think Game Two is going to be a really important decider in how we feel about the series. There's a Sonic there, Donald. That that place must be an S show then, <laughs> traffic wise. This right here, by the way. Not numbered those pulsars, so that's why I'm moving, breezing right by him. Oh, Ben Koyak, Jaguars. Not numbered. Jags auto going to Nick Jones with the Jags. One left in definitive. Nice. Well, let's not get too hyped. We still have like. 45 minutes to go in this break. <laughs> Joyke Bell, sepia for the Lions. 33 out of 99. That'll go to Todd B. It's my boy Derek Carr right there. Sean Mannion. So yeah, even though these greens aren't numbered, these still will ship. They're considered, uh, they're considered an insert. And Nate Orchard, pink. That'll be out of 399. 169 out of 399. Going to Brett and the Browns. There's Marshawn Lynch out of 299. Future Raider. Oh, well. Mark Bellinger, I like your attitude there. Mark's like, that's okay if Definitive felt sells out too quickly because then they could start buying football mixer spots. I like where your head's at, Mark. You could be a breaker. 
I sure did pass a green, Josh York. Those aren't numbered, so I just blow by those. <laughs> They'll still ship, though. We're only we only we only sleeve the number the serial numbered cards and the autographs. You want a, a $100 a spot basketball mixer? If it goes to if it goes to game 7, I hope it as an as a relatively neutral fan, I hope it does go to a game 7. Yeah, uh looks like definitive filled up first, so yeah, I think we're going to break definitive right after this, which is good because we'll still be in kind of our brains will still be in 2015 mode. All right, yeah, we'll see what we can do. If it goes to a game seven, try to get some sort of basketball mixer going. I think Panini ex recently extended their exclusive deal with the NBA. I think they'll be doing some basketball for the next few years or so. I forget. I think they had, they had a blog post about it. I only saw it in passing. Seven box mixer for 77 a spot. That would have, those would have to be some nice boxes. I don't know, we have nice boxes like that. People are a little a little bearish about the 2016-17 basketball set though. Mariota, Pulsar, Josh Harper, Pulsar, and there's Le'Veon Bell. And TJ Yeldon, another Jaguar for Nick Jones. That's the one's out of 50 out of 75. Nice low number. This is who uh, Reggie is looking for. Except with this autograph on it. I mean, I could put an autograph on there for you. If you'd like. Oh, that, that felt different for some reason. Eli Harold, Sepia, 44 out of 99. Yeah, Kyle Kramer saying that draft wasn't wasn't too good. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I was trying to defend the draft, but yeah, that's that's what it is. I mean, you know, obviously a lot of those players from that draft class could could emerge. You know what I mean? Obviously, out of 499, Rob Gronkowski, camo for the Patriots, Karen Steele. Uh, but but yeah. Within season one, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't any immediate standouts. So that kind of softened the, the, the mark, the hobby market a little bit. Um, but the allegedly this year's draft class is supposed to be a lot deeper or a lot stronger. And a lot of large market teams are drafting relatively high. So that could really help. All right, chugging along on this one. So what's that, John? So you're gonna, I gotta re scroll, read up a little second here. If I pull you a what? Oh, if, oh, if I pull some strings to make that mixer happen, you're gonna mail me uh, a five out of five gold 
Gold Ball from TriStar, an autograph of, oh, my nemesis, Raleigh Fingers, right. I don't know. I don't know if I want that Raleigh Fingers, John B. <laughs> I already tried once to get his autograph. Wasn't meant to be. I can make soup with it. <laughs> Joshua, are vet autos common in this? Um, I, I, well, I think they're, they are featured, but I don't think they're common, which makes the vet autos, you know, more valuable or desirable out of sets like these. Troy Palomalu leads us off. There's Sammy Coates. Jimmy Graham. Jeff Hureman. So these pulsars, once again, are not numbered. That's why I'm kind of breezing by these. Neither are those greens. Those greens aren't numbered either. Saw that Russell Wilson sepia. Sometimes these are numbered. I mean, on the box, it has like Dan Marino autographs on it. And so I think there's like, there are some, but it's, there's not really what you're looking for in this kind of set. At a 299, TJ Clemmings, uh, that goes to the Minnesota Vikings. That would be for Ryan. And Devin Smith. Camo Refractor, 17 out of 99. Nice one for the New York Jets, 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 and Josh York. How can you tell if some of the, if there are those variations, Josh York? I mean, all the rookie cards are going to ship, so you're going to get them anyway. Jalen Collins, Blue Wave, and Antonio Gates. That's a catch for the Chargers. Blue, 104 out of 199. And that goes to the Los Angeles, now the Los Angeles Chargers, Derek Slavic. It sure did, Liam. It's going to happen in about... I don't know, 40 minutes? <laughs> Whenever all these boxes are gone. All right, so these were the pulls from this box. <coughs> Excuse me. And the next one. Sorry about that. <coughs> About halfway there. How do you know once I one touch to order for your cards? Um, I don't know. Uh, email me, or Kyle will tell you. Yeah, or actually, yeah, put it in the chat. Someone will tell you. It's kind of weird. I, I feel like I feel like the sizing doesn't match 
<laughs> they, I don't know, it makes it, they make it kind of difficult. Oh, Majestic Cards and Tops Baseball. Anthony Stevens, do we have any more definitive? No, we do not. We have a box of definitive in our uh, football mixer that's on the website. Well, you know how we can find out, John B., for sure, is to, uh, is to fill that Majestic Football break tonight. We can pop that open. And then I can grab some one touches over there and then see exactly which one fits. And then we'll do it. Science. We'll do an experiment right on right on camera. <laughs> no, it's all right, John. Not not many people do because because they'll they'll call the sizes of top loaders something different from the size of the one touches sometimes, so it doesn't always match up nicely. CJ Spiller. No, oh, that's not numbered. Blue. Oh, these are the I'll set those aside. These this is um, one of those blue diamond hot boxes. Or variation box right there. They're not numbered, but I'll set them aside so they'll so they'll be shipped. Actually they'll be shipped anyway, they're inserts. Philip Rivers, Black Refractor, 298 out of 299. Los Angeles Chargers going to Derek Slavic. It'll be kind of weird having them here. It's just weird having football here in general. Another TJ Yeldon, but this time Pulsar. The autographs are numbered. 5 out of 15 on that one. You just gotta hope TJ Yeldon and uh, Fournette, is it? Just become some sort of two-headed monster. It's Patrick Willis. No, that's not a numbered one. Kevin Johnson, that looks a cool looking one. There's Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles has got a bounce back too, right? Amari Cooper, Camo, Carl Davis, out of 499, Dries Sanderson, Eric Flowers, and Leonard Williams. Josh is saying, yeah, weird that, for, that Yeldon beat Fournette's Tigers on the last day of the playoffs. Now Fournette's trying to take his job. I don't know if, but see, I don't know if, is, is he going to be like that sort of like every carry kind of back do modern football offenses want that nowadays one player to take to have like 35 carries a game kind of thing if anything you would think you would hope that tj yeldon is is like that complimentary back because i don't think there's running backs like that i mean not anymore or at least it's kind of shifting that way Next box. Yeah, for, uh, C Shep saying Fournette looks like a solid addition for that Jaguars offense. Well, the Jaguars look, we, I, I was saying this last season too, the Jaguars look great on paper. You know, they seem to have the nice names on paper, you know, a lot of recognizable names. A lot of recognizable names on the defense. Something's just not clicking. I mean, maybe, maybe having. Why am I blanking on his name? The former Giants coach in the front office now, who's I think is a former military guy. So he's just like, 
cracking the whip, you know, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that kind of change is going to help them, but they seem to look great on paper, but they're just, it's just, it's just not gelling together. Right, Coughlin, right? Tom Coughlin. Blanked. Blanked. See, my head's in baseball mode right now. So. This is like, yeah, that old Giants coach that would get red faced and. But yeah, so. They look, I mean. I think, and I think a number of people, every time I bring this up, people are like, you know what? Yeah, they, they do kind of look good on paper. How come they just need to put it all together? Oh, that's a good question. John's wondering, hey, is is Dak Prescott for real or is he not? It's got to be a combination of, bo of of a little bit of both. A little bit of like, hey, any offense, that offensive line can make anybody look good, right? And maybe Dak Prescott is that good. It's a combination of both, I think. There's Devin Bunches of Funches. Blue Auto, 6 out of 50 for the Panthers. Chris Siracool, who got this in a spot randomizer. Nice. I'm not seeing a lot of parallel. Well, there's Matt Ryan. There you go. For Bulldog fan out of 299. Carl Davis. Yeah, you know, I think I think any good offensive line will help kind of mask the weaknesses of any young quarterback, right? So I think that definitely helps kind of paper over whatever paper over whatever uh, whatever weaknesses Dak Prescott may have but it's up to him this off season you know what I mean to, to put in the work right because teams are have a season of game tape on him now so they're gonna adjust to him he's got to adjust back to defenses So, no, I can't, Joshua. I'm in the middle of a break. But I will afterwards. Bulldog fan saying Prescott is good, but then again, I'm biased. Yeah. Bulldog fan uh, is not a... is a Mississippi State Bulldog fan. Not a, not a, not a Georgia Bulldog fan. John F. Classics. Which cl classics? I think classics is still on the website, isn't it? I did a Classics yesterday, the first half. Classics 7, I did yesterday. Classics 8, I think, is still on the site. Yeah, but what break number? I think, I think there's one of the half cases that are still on the site. We did one yesterday. And the video should be up on that. And I think the second half is still is still not sold out yet. Unless it did while this break was happening. Yeah, I remember when Bulldog fan was chasing a uh, was, ch was chasing Dak Prescott's all summer after he was drafted. And then the prices got crazy, right, Will, for the Cowboys?
Mike Davis, gold, 002 out of 100. Or C gold and sepia? I don't know what the deal with this is. Looks like a combination right there. Or maybe it's just a sepia. That looks pretty cool, though. Um, Niners, that goes to the X line. Yeah. Bulldog fans like, yeah, I can't afford him now. You got priced, you got priced out. But you were on it first. Byron Jones, a bonus autograph. Cowboys, Mike Cody. And we got a pink Eddie Lacy. 2015 pink Eddie Lacy at a 3.99. This this I guess back then 2015 this would be thin Eddie Lacy. So there you go. Gabriel Lowe with the Packers. Oh yeah, John F. So yeah, the one from the from the spot randomizer happened yesterday. So the video is already posted for that. Jalen Strong sepia for Bulldog fans. 70 out of 99. And that's that for this box. That's nice. Bonus auto in there. Just four boxes to go. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. Yeah, John B. Dak Prescott does resell pretty well on a secondary, especially during the season in the heyday. You know, if it's a pretty popular product, like say for example, say for example, I don't know, National Treasures Football, Dak Prescott RPA out of ninety nine. Like, what would that go for? That goes for a lot. Same with the Ezekiel Elliott. Ruben, there's a football mixer on the site right now. I don't think that's sold out yet. Yeah, I think everybody's curious to see what both Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott could do this year. I mean, I don't think they're going to win 13 games again, right? But I don't. But I don't see them regressing very significantly. Cowboys have improved, right? Have we not gone? I, I didn't know. Is, is there a case hit in this? I didn't realize that. It's been ages since I've done this. Yeah, you think they're going to win 13 games again, Rob? I mean, maybe. You know, Bulldog fan, Will, Will is saying that Dak Prescott has set the bar too high. That if he doesn't surpass his numbers from last year, this year, people are going to say he's a one-hit wonder. Yeah, that's going to, yeah, you know that's going to happen, right? What's wrong with Dak Prescott will be the thing. His, his, his you know, his yards per, per pass are down or whatever. There'll be all sorts of things, yeah. And even though if he's having a good season, they'll still be like, well, no, Ezekiel Elliott's yards per carry. Not the, not what it was last season. All right. Next box. Good luck. John's like, ask Todd Gurley about setting the bar too. Oh, listen, Gurley was on a bad team though. Jeff Fisher was did not know how to run an offense. There's Matt Jones. Impeccable autograph from Matt Jones for Ziggy and Last Spot Mojo. There's Kurt Warner. I 
I think Dak or I think Todd Gurley should bounce back this season. There he is. We're just talking about him. No, but I mean, they moved from St. Louis to L.A. That team clearly significantly regressed offensively. 006 out of 499 for the Bengals' camo refractor. So even if they had the same team, the coaching was just bad enough where they just, something was just wasn't working. They weren't executing. They weren't getting that motivation there. Whatever the case was, it's pretty bad football. <laughs> Vic Beasley Jr., 86 out of 99, that's for Will. I mean, yeah, it, 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 was a pretty, it was a pretty awful introduction. It's a pretty awful welcome back to L.A. football. <laughs> but I think, I think he'll bounce back this season. You know, the, the coach for the new coach for the Rams, who was in Washington, D.C., did wonders for Kirk Cousins. Three boxes to go. Almost there, folks. Thanks for hanging with me. Yeah, no train whistles yet, Josh York. That's right. Although difficult to get train whistles out of Topps Chrome Football. I feel I, I feel a better shot at getting train whistles out of Definitive though, which is coming up after this. And then I think limited basketball filled up, so we can do limited after this. So we should have time to do a couple more breaks after that too. So we're we are working on a very good pace, folks. Very good momentum. It'd be nice. Just blow out my voice on doing train whistles. Every hit out of Definitive Collection is like an out of five or under. That Definitive Collection is nice. If you're not in this break, folks, I would do yourself a favor and like go go look through our videos and look up Definitive Collection videos and like watch a break or two, you know, just to fami re familiarize yourself with how nice that stuff was and is. We have a box of Definitive Collection in the football mixer, too. We have time to do that tonight as well. Um, is it eight hits? Per I, I don't remember. I'll have to look at the box once I'm done with this break, but it's a decent amount of hits. Mike Davis, Pulsar. Alex Lindsay looking for the famous autograph. Yeah, I feel like we haven't gotten that big, like... That big autograph yet. Camel Refractor Auto, Jeremy Langford for the Bears. That's out of 99. And that goes to John C. And the Chi Town Bears. Da Bears. Marcus Mariota, Camo Refractor. That's out of four ninety-nine. Titans, that goes to Cameron. Tyler Lockett, Blue Wave, and Alex Smith, Sepia. Nine out of ninety-nine.
Yeah, I don't think not, no one mentioned the uh, football mixture being sold out yet, so we can definitely have time for that. Diamond Kings Baseball have a shot at $50 of break credit. Plenty of time for both of those. All right, so Bears got that auto, John C. The Sepia, Alex Smith. Uh, that heads out to Kansas City. That will be the X line and the Mariota, of course, for Cameron. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Might as well open up this one, too. We're at the end. I'm making pretty good time. All right, here we go. I'm going to stack all of these packs, and then we'll fire through the last two boxes. And then we'll move on to the next break, and we'll go from there. We should still have, like, by the time I finish this break, in about 15, 20 minutes, we still should have um, another, like, solid, like, two hours to, uh, to break. So two, a solid two hours left in the broadcast, so I think we should have plenty of time to fill up more breaks. Even after the ones we filled up already. And Nick Jones, he's happy he has the Jaguars. Yeah, well, you're starting your TJ Yeldon PC, whether you like it or not. <laughs> well, we still haven't seen like a like an autograph that's like, boom, okay, yeah, there it is, you know? Like one of those autographs. Uh, the, the, one of the, an autograph that kind of wakes you up. We haven't seen one of those as of yet, so hopefully. Uh, no, no more, no mini helmets at the moment, Daniel. If we had more available for sale, we definitely would have them on the website. Those are selling very well. I think we did order more though. Uh, no, I think we just put them in the recycling bin, <laughs> John B. That's that's where it all goes. Now we, we uh, this this store this our store is in a in a big uh, um, complex, so there's a big trash receptacle at the end of the block. Uh, looks like Daniel Arndt needs uh, suggestions on what to buy into. I think people were saying football mixer, maybe? Or Diamond Kings baseball? Yeah, Joe P's like, Daniel could just get into anything. He's on a hot... Yeah, Daniel, you're on, you are actually on a pretty good streak, you know? As everyone knows, when you're on a hot streak, you never know when that's going to go away. You got to keep that going. All right, good luck, everybody. Our last two boxes of 2015 Topps Chrome Football. There we go. There's a nice autograph. David Johnson. Solid break so far. And now, this is a nice cherry on top. Uh, Brett with the Arizona Cardinals. Nice. Rookie auto, David Johnson. That is strong. Joe P wants it. He likes the Cardinals. 
So Brett, buyer already. Steve Young, see, isn't this not, this is not numbered? I mean, it still ships, but. And Dominic and Sue, Camo, out of 499. There's David Johnson again. There's David Johnson again. Green Sammy Coates, Leonard Williams, and Camo Josh Robinson, out of 499 for the Colts, that's for Reggie. All right, that's a nice box. Let's see what we're gonna close out with. Yeah, C. Shep saying, most underrated at running back in the league, probably one of the best. Kyle Kramer saying, best indeed. Yeah, David Johnson's pretty darn good. Robbie Pond reporting that Albert Pujols has hit Home run number 600, and it's a grand slam. Nice. Well, congrats, Albert Pools. Pretty awesome career for him. First ballot Hall of Famer, maybe? Probably got to be, right? And there's a pink Josh Robinson for Reggie. 60 out of 75. And this isn't the Andrew Luck that you were looking for, Reggie, but still an autograph for you. Thank you for getting in. Jesse James, the outlaw. Out of 399 for the Steelers. That goes to Ellie. Uh, Jason has a day off, Daniel Arndt. He's, unfortunately, he's not a robot. We can't make him work seven nights a week. <laughs> Clive Walford, camo refractor, 420 out of 499 from our Raiders. Who has, who's got my Raiders? Sam. Sam does. And the last bit, any other numbered cards or anything at the end? Bonus auto, maybe? Got a blue Percy Harvin at a 199 for the Bills, and then Jeff Hurman at the very end. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is that. Thanks for hanging with me. That was pick your team number 11 of 2015, Tops Chrome Football. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.